Hello, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury 33, and welcome to Nanalee's at Dawn. We're going to be starting out with, well, going to be doing some exhibition matches today, or replays rather, and we're going to start out with Icons versus Sprung. Before I do, I'm fairly certain there will be a tournament next week. There wasn't one this week. There was some AI tournament that went on. Cool idea. Not sure if any good games came out of it. That would be interesting to watch. So we're not watching those unless someone actually finds one that is cool to watch. If they do, then I'll. I, I can do one. I don't really want to do too many because AI games, while it's an interesting little, it's an interesting experiment, kind of cool, and good to see what sort of things could be there for single player content, especially for people who want to have just the single player challenge, don't have to worry about playing other people, and that, that can be nerve wracking. So, you know, having good challenging single player AI, great, I love that. I don't know if it's the inter most interesting game though, so if people find me good games, great. If not, then we will continue to cast games played by Meatbags. Because that's all I got. It's human games. These ones should be pretty good. So we're going to be starting out with a game between Sprung and Icon. So yeah, the tournament should be next week. There should be a 1v1 tournament next week, hopefully, but it hasn't been officially announced yet. Yeah, expect next Saturday at 10 a.m. UTC, so 2 a.m. PST and 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, North America, and then Europe, it's like 10 to noon. Anywhere further east, it's probably around 6 or 7. Like Australia, it was 6 or 7. So yeah, that's in the evening. So that's when the next tournament will probably be, but it hasn't been officially announced yet. If it is, I'll put links into various descriptions. For now, Icons versus Sprung on Iceland. So let's get started. Without further ado. Icons going for light vehicles, while Sprung goes for Amphib. Very popular factory nowadays. Amphib has been used pretty much in every single map and every single matchup. I've... Not seen so much amphibious bot use. I've not seen so many ducks. Ever. And I live in a coastal city. But nope. This last month I've seen more ducks in here than I have in real life. That's a lot of ducks. So both players just getting their normal setup going. Should be able to get each other out fairly quickly. Icons just about to meet up. The one dart sprung really going very aggressive. Icons looks like there were three ducks right off the bat like that. That's that's a fair amount of damage putting out. And Icons just with the one scorcher, two scorchers now, but they're clearly folks a bit more in defense. They know that those ducks are coming. I don't see them waiting for more scorchers to go out and try to attack. So I think I think they're expecting sprung to attack, and sprung is not. Neither player are neither player is really attacking right now. Both of them are basically. Both are basically just setting up for the late game. Now, Iceland is a bit of a bigger map. As you can see, Iceland's a map with quite a lot of resources spread about. A lot of metal extractors all across the map. So it's really important that you do have a good macroeconomic base. Problem, however, is that it's also not that big of a map. It looks kind of big, but the start locations are fairly close by. So really, it's not as big as it looks. So you do want to make sure you are able to defend quite quickly, you have a good army quite quickly. You can't just expand around as you could in, say, Common Catcher, for instance, even though I believe the maps are the same size, or very similar size. Yeah, it's just because of the way the metal extractors are, sp are spread out, you really do need to have enough to defend. And first real battle coming in here, and it looks like Icons will be losing it very quickly. Getting rid of one duck, though. Good kill, but not enough. So, yeah, Icons, I'd say, really didn't fare well in that particular fight. But Icons also doesn't have much of an army right now. Going for Raptor leveler combo. Good idea. Raptors are quite quick. They can get around and deal with the ducks easily. And then when boys come up, which they inevitably will, they haven't yet, but they inevitably will, then Raptors can a bit more easily deal with them. The only problem being the ducks, like actually hitting them, the levelers help with the hitting of the ducks. But yeah, I mean, the Ravagers can easily tank, they can move around quickly enough to get to the ducks. And if boys or scallops come in there, they aren't going to be too miffed. They aren't going to be too perturbed by that particular change of events. And... I, Sprung is being very vindictive against the forest here. Sprung, wow. I never knew Sprung to be so anti-environmentalistic, but apparently they are. These aren't bad trees, are they? These are pretty, actually, yeah, for, 
An RTS game CG trees. This is actually pretty good. Trees in this game vary wildly by quality, but Iceland's got some of the better ones. I think the snow helps a lot, but yeah, it's just... Those look pretty good. And Sprung is destroying them! Sprung, what is wrong with you? Or what was wrong with you since this was played several days ago? But what was wrong with you back then? Destroying the trees. Uh, I don't know what to do with you sometimes. At this point, neither player has really been too aggressive, surprisingly enough. Neither player neither player switching for air either. And Icon's just now taking the north. Icon's really behind in metal, wow. I mean, Sprung, I think, has been expanding at a decent rate. Although, admittedly, they've been very aggressive. They've been building a lot of army. Icons, on the other hand, they have hardly been building anything. I don't... I don't know. Like, why is Icons not building up the... This is weird. I mean, I guess, okay, they're being defensive, but still, even that taken into account, they should have been expanding along here, and along here, and maybe up here. They must be really paranoid about the ducks. Like, those... Yeah, I'll admit, that's kind of nerve-wracking. I mean, ducks are not something you see a lot when you have light vehicles. But, there's something to get used to. Because Amphib is here to stay, for at least for now. Ducks are powerful enough, boys have a lot of power. Scallops aren't really used that often, but boys and ducks, pretty tough together. Overcraft being another factor that's also surprisingly here to stay, but yeah. Ducks. Getting rid of a level, they're losing their, all of their number, wow. Same time, counterattack coming in along Iken's base, and Iken's does not have anything to deal with this. Okay, they have a leveler and two Ravagers. This might work depending on positioning. Same time, the Ravager level are attack coming in here, dealing fair amount of damage. But, Icons, okay. Ravager tanking, level are damaging, that works. These ducks should be going down fairly soon. Unfortunately, the Ravager not tanking for the boy, for, for the levelers, not tanking the boy shots. But the ducks getting cleared out. Icons taking one metal extractor down, that's all they lose. It looks like they're gonna get rid of pretty much everything Sprung has in their base. That was a decent amount of damage. Got over a couple of metal extractors, quite a few wind generators. Unfortunately, Sprung has so much power over to the southwest side of the map and expanding along the center west side of the map, it really does not matter. Icons is so far behind economically, that attack needed to do a lot more. I mean, they defended fairly well, but they are really far behind economically. The only thing they really have going for them right now is that Sprung is not building more, they are not pushing resources into the factory. Part of that being that the conch they were using for that did get killed. Yeah, so right now, there is a bit of a timing opening for another attack. They can get through those boys, but the problem is the north side has raised Stardust. So that's going to be tricky, and does, it is not. Okay. Stardust won't be able to hit around here. Like, there's a circle around here that it can't hit, just because of the fact that it can't turn its turret too far down. I don't... Unfortunately, you can't see that. When I look over here, it does not show where it can't attack. But yeah, there is a minimum range. It's not really going to matter, though. Sprung's matter into the protection of the Stardust, and Icon's just going for the harass, but there's nothing to harass. Sprung is not expanded in the Northwest. Neither player really expanding that much. Sprung, two-thirds, or one-third of their economy is overdrive. Two-thirds of it's what's on the ground, but yeah, they're relying a lot on overdrive. Which is unusual, and Icons just is not relying on anything. They just don't have anything. I guess they're going to start relying on Overdrive 2 pretty soon, but... I haven't got much, and the Stardust doing the damage it needs to do. It doesn't matter that it can't hit near itself, because they couldn't get close enough. Raptors are fast, but I guess they're not that fast. And this battle is basically going to be it. If Icons wins this, they will have a bit of an opening to get in and tear apart Sprung's base. If not, then they'll probably surrender. So we'll see how this goes. Icon's opening up pretty well. Ravager's doing a fine job getting in right at the start, but... Oh, one boy down. The levelers, however, not able to get in. Ravager's the only one that's actually able to deal the damage. The levelers are a bit too slow to deal with the boys. 
And now with the slow finally hitting the levelers, that's a problem. But the Ravager's able to do enough damage, so that's good. At least the Ravager's able to deal with what they need to deal with. Wow, that was good timing. That Stardust would have been massively problematic for getting into the base. But Aikens at this point... Oh, it looks like... Are they going to try to use this pillar? No, they're not. They're just retreating. They're just retreating. A bit inconclusive. I'm not going to say that Icons is totally hooped, but they are still really far behind. Sprung's just been excessing. That's the only thing that Icons has had going for them, is that Sprung has been excessing hard. But now with the gunship plant having been built up, and enough metal to support both factories very easily, Icons is going to be in trouble. And, okay, this should do the trick. The flanking coming in here, no additional Stardust being built up. Flanking coming in for the Ravagers to get rid of the boys. And the Levelers. Both of them should be able to get rid of the boys without too much issue. And that will probably... If this damage can be dealt and remain solidly dealt, it's going to come down to these Brawlers. Because it looks like the main... Ooh, actually, I was wrong about the, scallop the Scallops. The Scallops are a real problem. Sheesh. I think I think Sprung has this. Yeah, I think this I think Icons is gonna realize there isn't much they can really do. But they're not done yet. Brawl of whoever is up. They aren't aware. No, they have no anti-air. They have a bunch of Wolverines coming in to get rid of the boys, but no anti-air, no crashers. There's no razors either in their base, are there? Nope. A couple defenders, that's about it. And the brawler has revealed itself. These Ravagers don't seem to care. They just want to hit everything. Get rid of what they can. I mean, it's not a bad idea just getting rid of all this stuff. But I don't think it'll work. Because, yeah, the Ravager will die too quickly. If two Brawlers attacking it, that is not going to work. But I think Icons is going to throw in the towel right now. Sprung destroying more trees! Sprung, what is wrong with you? What did those trees ever do to you? Did a tree kill your parents? If that was the case, I can sort of see it, but that's just one tree. Blame that one tree, not all of them. At this point, though, Icons, they got their economy a bit closer. They have some anti-air to get rid of the brawlers, so they have something, but still, Sprung is really ahead. And bear in mind, Sprung took a bit of a hit after that. I mean, they did lose... Well, they lost a fair amount, but they also have a bunch of Reclaim to work with. Now, Icons not... Okay, they are moving out. Never mind. Very specialized long-range forces. The Ravagers are not moving in to tank for them, and that's going to be a bit painful. And Icons with a gunship plane. Is that gunship plane going to really do much good? I mean, I guess, but still. Hmm. Oh yeah, pointing out, Icons, Icons only has radar on their main base. Sprung, on the other hand, doesn't also have actually that much radar coverage either. So both players are essentially running blind this entire time. Unfortunately, this is where the real... Pro actually, wait, no, never mind. I was supposed to say, this is the problem for Icons, but Icons with enough counter forces to deal with that, no problem. Did they even loot? They lost one Wolverine, I think. Or no, not even. And this is where the Wolverines were supposed to come in and unfortunately got hit too soon. Ow, shooting behind the boys. That sucks. Not leading the boys at all. They're barely able to get some hits in, but yeah, if they... There we go. Finally hitting when they need to hit. Just hitting behind the boys does not do them much good. I guess it helps against reinforcements, but not against the main force. But at this point, Icons losing the northwest, northeast side of their base. South being flanked as well. Sprung basically has this game now. Icons was able to deal a decent amount of damage, and they did kind of hold their own, but being at half economy for most of the game did not help them much. I don't really see them coming back from this. I suppose it's possible, but it seems very unlikely. 
Because right now, basically, Sprung can just... Sorry, Icons can just... Sorry, no, Sprung. Sorry, the first time. Sprung with these boys will be a problem, and the Rapier's going to have no easy way to deal with this. The Trident's going to be a problem, stopping those Rapiers from really doing much anyway. And the ground forces aren't really there. Sprung adding a Cloakybot factory as well? What the, wow, okay. Not sure why they're adding that. Maybe for an eraser or something. But at this point, Sprung is basically just closing in. Like, there isn't much that Icons can do. I'm surprised Icons is still holding on. Although, admittedly, I've been surprised that Icons has held on as long as they have just in general. Like, there have been a lot of, a lot of points in this game where I thought, it's going to be game, but no. Icons did not die. Or did not at least leave. And now, this is going to be it. Icons cannot survive this. Like, the best they could possibly hope for is to destroy Sprung's base at the same time. And that's not likely to happen. But they're giving it a Valiant try anyway. And at least the Rapiers can get rid of the Scallops, but the boys are the real problem. They're tough, they... They hit Rapiers without too much issue, and they are just hard to counter. Hard to deal with. And Sprung just has a massive economic advantage, as they have this entire game. That's been the story of the game, is Sprung's economic advantage. Okay, well, it's... Is this game? Because... Okay, yeah, Icons is probably throwing the towel now. That was just... Icons got... I think they just got spooked by the ducks, didn't know what to do, and forgot to expand. Because that entire game felt like they were just waiting to get hit, and they weren't expanding so they'd have less room to defend. Or less... Well, I guess... Yeah, it was less room to defend. But I meant less territory to defend. And that did not work out, because that's not the kind of game 0k is. 0k is not a game where you can hang back and be rewarded. So that pretty much did it. There's a bit of a straggler force from Icons over to the west, but that's not much. And Icons energy gadget screaming at them as they lose the game. Like, make energy! You're accessing metal because you have no production structures left! Because, I mean, Sprung... Okay, just going for straight Glaive? Really? Huh. Okay. Not quite what I expected. Wait, I feel like you're the poison that is I guess the Glaives can just rush through the minefield and tear it apart. Like, eat a lot of the mines and then not worry about it afterwards. What is Icons? Icons doesn't even know. Well, I guess they kind of know some things. Must have some impression on where that Stardust is. <sighs> there we go. Okay. Now that's game. Sheesh. How much did they access? Because Sprung seemed like they were accessing a lot. Oh, only 500. Okay. Not that much. Yeah, that was... That was a bit of a longer game than I would have liked, just, it kind of dragged. I'm sorry, that that did drag a bit, but it happens sometimes. Anyway, next game is going to be Flipstep and Kshatriya on Living Lands, which will be a shorter game. It just will be shorter, just there's less time involved. So, stay tuned for that, it'll be up in just a moment.